Tonight, the search for a missing young man in Maine has come to a tragic end. Portland police say 21 year old Samuel Mugisha went missing more than five months ago and is now confirmed dead. A person fishing found Mugisha's body in the Presumpscot River in Falmouth last week. News from Maine's Alex Haskell spoke with Mugisha's family and joins us live in Portland tonight. Alex, a lot for them to process here. Yeah, Zach Mugisha was last seen in his apartment here on Auburn Street back in November. I spoke with his uncle who says he's remembering his nephew as a friendly and caring young man. This is a devastating news. Claude Raganje uh, says his nephew Samuel Mugisha was always willing to lend a helping hand. If he, he, you wanted Samuel to take kids to basketball, he would do that. If you wanted them to educate other kids uh, in terms of life, he would do that as well. Friday morning, Raganje broke the difficult news to Mugisha's parents in Kenya, Africa. Their son is dead. I can tell you that it was very painful. They're screaming, they're crying, asking me about their son. And unfortunately, I didn't have the answers. Mugisha's decomposed body was found last Thursday in the Presumpscot River in Falmouth. According to Falmouth Police Chief John Kilbride, a person was fishing in the river off Great Road when they noticed a body caught in a small inlet. And it's been turned over to the medical examiner's office for further investigation. Questions still remain. How Mugisha died and where he was going the day he went missing. What do we need to do as a community is to grieve and a uh, moon, the life of uh, a young man who had a long life ahead of himself, that he's unfortunately is gone. Now, an exact cause of death will be determined by the state medical examiner. Raganje says he's thankful for the continued support of Mainers and is hoping to have a burial for his nephew in the coming weeks. Zach. Alex Haskell live in Portland tonight. Thank you.